If the season ended today, the 53 Seattle Seahawks would miss the playoffs. Joe Nicholson USA Today The NFL will reach its mid-season Monday night, with every team having played at least eight games, but the postseason picture has already begun to take shape. And there might be more clarity than you'd think for Week 9. The Philadelphia Eagles won again, pushing the record to 81 and giving them a 2.5 game lead in the NFC East. The Kansas City Chiefs also should cruise to the AFC West crown despite Sunday's loss to the Dallas Cowboys. The same goes for the Minnesota Vikings and Pittsburgh Steelers in the NFC and AFC North, respectively. The other divisions may be in play, but the wildcard spots are not, in fact, using each team's talent level, which takes into account a team's actual record and what their records should be based on points scored and allowed, to simulate the season 1,000 times shows only a few playoff spots are still up for grabs. AFC The Jacksonville Jaguars join the Steelers, Patriots and Chiefs among the projected AFC division winners, thanks in large part to a pass defense that has been lights out. Opposing quarterbacks have a league-low 63.5 passer rating against the Jags, the league average is 88.3, with four touchdowns against 10 interceptions. Since 2002, the year the league expanded to 32 teams, only nine other squads have held opponents to as low of a passer rating during the first nine weeks of the season. The wildcard spots are expected to be filled by the Buffalo Bills and Tennessee Titans, two teams projected to win nine or ten games in 2017. AFC projected wins in 2017 projected playoff seed Pittsburgh Steelers 62 12.01 Jacksonville Jaguars 53 11.52 New England Patriots 62 11.53 Kansas City Chiefs 63 11.24 Buffalo Bills 53 9.6 WC1 Tennessee Titans 53 9.5 WC2 at the bottom of the conference sit the winless Cleveland Browns an Indianapolis Colts team without quarterback Andrew Luck a Denver Broncos team that was so fed up with its quarterback play they decided to give Brock Osweiler another chance. A terrible idea he completed 19 of 38 passes for 208 yards, a touchdown and two interceptions, giving him a 53.4 passer rating. None of them projects as solid playoff candidates. The team's a little closer to the playoff pack, but still outside the picture, are the Miami Dolphins, New York Jets and Houston Texans, three teams that aren't expected to break .500. Houston had a chance, of course, with rookie Fenham Deshaun Watson under center, but now those playoff hopes are fading fast. Before tearing his anterior cruciate ligament in practice, Watson completed 62% of his passes en route to a 19-2-8 touchdown ratio and 103 passer rating. He also was, and still is, the most valuable passer per ESPN's total quarterback rating. His replacement, Tom Savage, has completed 82 of 149 passes, 55% for 869 yards, one touchdown and one interception for a 71.7 passer rating during his career. Any playoff hopes the Texans had went out the window as soon as Watson was ruled out for the remainder of the season. Miami was the second-worst rushing team in the league before trading away Jay Ajayi to the Eagles, more indicative of its lackluster playoff chances Miami's gamble on Jay Cutler HASNT worked out. His passer rating in a clean pocket is average 98.2 and becomes worse than average under pressure 63.6. He is ranked 26th out of 33 passes per ESPN's QBR rating, which does not build confidence the Dolphins can outperform their projected win total of 7.2. The silver lining for the Jets, who some thought would NT win a game this year, is that their offense ISNT the worst in the NFL. But it's still ISNT playoff caliber, scoring 1.6 points per drive 22nd and being forced to go three and out 43% of the time. Only the Colts and Titans are worse in this regard. That leaves the Baltimore Ravens as the only true bubble team in the conference. The Ravens lost, 2,320, to the Titans on Sunday, yet are projected to win eight games by the end of the regular season, one or two wins shy of qualifying for a wildcard spot. If they do make an end of season push, look for it to come late. They face the Cleveland Browns, Indianapolis Colts and Cincinnati Bengals during the last three weeks of the season.
AFC projected wins in 2017 projected playoff seed Buffalo Bills 53 9.6 WC1 Tennessee Titans 53 9.5 WC2 Baltimore Ravens 45 8.2 Miami Dolphins 44 7.2 New York Jets 45 6.9 Houston Texans 35 6.7 Los Angeles Chargers 35 6.5 Cincinnati Bengals 35 6.3 Oakland Raiders 45 6.2 Denver Broncos 35 6.1 Indianapolis Colts 36 4.7 Cleveland Browns 08 0.7 NFC The Los Angeles Rams, this year's surprise team, will likely earn a playoff berth, their first since 2004, alongside the Eagles, New Orleans Saints and Minnesota Vikings as the NFC's division winners. The Carolina Panthers and Dallas Cowboys look poised to be the two wildcard teams. The Cowboys' fortunes could hinge on the availability of running back Ezekiel Elliott, who is in a court battle over a six-game suspension. Elliott has 783 rushing yards, the second most in the NFL this season, with a share of the league lead for rushing touchdowns 7. The game charters at Pro Football Focus rate him as this year's fourth best back, illustrating how integral he is to the Cowboys' chances. However, Dallas has already faced the tough part of its season in terms of rush defenses, so, should he ultimately be suspended, that could help offset the decline in talent from Elliott to back up Salford Morris, Darren McFadden and Rod Smith. NFC projected wins in 2017 projected playoff seed Philadelphia Eagles 81 13.51 New Orleans Saints 62 11.72 Los Angeles Rams 62 11.63 Minnesota Vikings 62 11.54 Carolina Panthers 63 10.1 WC1 Dallas Cowboys 53 9.7 WC2 Not too far behind the Cowboys are the Seattle Seahawks, fresh off a shocking home loss to the Washington Redskins on Sunday, and the Green Bay Packers, a team trying to stay afloat without star quarterback Aaron Rodgers. Of the two, the Seahawks are the better bet to chase down the Cowboys for a wildcard spot. Despite the hiccup in Washington, Seattle is allowing just 1.52 points per drive, the sixth lowest scoring rate this season, while forcing opponents into three and out situations more than a third of the time 38.1%, ninth highest in the league. The Seahawks also boast the second best coverage unit in 2017. Led by shutdown corner Richard Sherman, Seattle's secondary is allowing opposing receivers to catch just 58% of their targets, the third lowest rate behind the Chiefs and Ravens league average is 62.5%. The Redskins and Detroit Lions are close behind but figure to be on the outside looking in once the regular season ends. The pessimism for Washington starts with its next two opponents the Minnesota Vikings and New Orleans Saints. The Vikings rank 5th in points allowed per drive 1.48 with a 9th lowest passer rating allowed 81.2 and the Saints prevent first downs at an above average rate 69% of the time, 6th best in 2017 with the league's 7th lowest passer rating against 79.3. Detroit's remaining schedule ranks as the 7th toughest against the run, per sharp football stats, with games against the Browns 2.9 yards allowed per carry, number one in the NFL this season, Vikings 3.5, third best and Bengals 3.8, 11th best still on the docket. NFC projected wins in 2017 projected playoff seed Carolina Panthers 63 10.1 WC1 Dallas Cowboys 53 9.7 WC2 Seattle Seahawks 53 9.6 Green Bay Packers 43 9.1 Washington Redskins 44 8.2 Detroit Lions 34 8.0 Atlanta Falcons 44 7.3 Arizona Cardinals 44 6.7 Chicago Bears 35 6.5 Tampa Bay Buccaneers 26 4.3 New York Giants 17 2.7 San Francisco 49ers 090.8 Read more on the NFL 5 NFL players ejected as fights Mar 3 games in Week 9 NFL players seek meeting with league in front of a mediator to discuss protests. Activism Jerry Jones says NFL should seek accountability over anthem protests Eagles demolition of Broncos shows Brock Osweiler is not the answer in Denver the Cowboys a dark Prescott's team, with or without Ezekiel Elliott NFL, NFLPA remain uninterested in a settlement of Ezekiel Elliott case, source says.